Hello everybody, I'm LJ and you are watching the second recap review question and answer. So I know that a lot of you have been wondering where I have been, what's been going on with the recap reviews, and I am happy to say that the, re bleh, the recap reviews are coming back. At the end of this video I will tell you when. But for now I've got some questions to answer and I've got a trusty notepad with all my questions in them. So let's get started. Let's start off with how do I keep my rubber bands intact? Well, bad news. I don't. There's really no way that I have to keep rubber bands intact myself. I just buy bulk off of Bricklink and kind of just wait for them to deteriorate until I need to use that set first skit or something again. Uh, however, I do eventually want to have a glass case over my sets so that dust does not get on them and I don't have this issue. So, that's that. Uh, next question, why do I have a mask? I'd like to quote a movie here and ask, do you not understand the concept of the mask? Uh, kudos to anyone who can name that movie that quote comes from. Third question, did I actually run over Nuparu? He was in the review, what do you think? <laughs> no, but I did not run him over. However, do not tempt me. I just might. Uh, number four actually is not a question, but this is to address how I put in the Exotoa. I had mentioned numerous times I did not know how. I did not exactly know how, and it probably was going to end up being very botched. And that's how it ended up being. So I apologize for that. It, you know, that's just how it happened. Uh, next question, did I ever get the infected How Nuva? No, I did not. At the time of this recording, and probably for quite a while after, I do not have the infected Kanohi How Nuva that came out in 2003, uh, in several variants. So, no. Uh, next question is, where did I get the infected Miru? Well, actually, this never was officially released. This is... This is just entirely fan-made. This is entirely my own thing. So you can probably see some paint scarring some areas. But yeah, this is completely my own doing. I made it a long, long, long time ago. Very early on to my Bionicle Phantom focus. Having some focusing issues with the camera. But anyway, so this is, this is made very early on into my fan career. And, yeah, it's just entirely fan-made. So that's that. Uh, next question is, what will I be reviewing in total? Like, as far as everything is concerned, what do I review? Well, I'm reviewing everything. Everything from 2001 and 2000, all the way to 2010. Everything will be reviewed. Next question, what do I do with the sets after I review them? Well, I keep them. I'm working on collecting everything, so I'm going to do that until I'm done. Which is actually very near in sight. I'm almost done. Uh, next question, what is the best place to get sets? Now, the, the person who asked this question brought up some interesting points. He thought that uh, eBay had too high prices and that if you tried and get to get them at places, it's sort of like yard sales or something, if you tried and pitch your luck there, then you really, it was kind of hit or miss. Well, I would actually go as far as to say, I'd suggest eBay. eBay, if you look very carefully, then you can find a lot of great deals. Uh, for instance, I was able to get two of a very specific, large 2001 Rahi off of eBay. Uh, two of them. For significantly under what they originally sold for. It's a really great deal. So, monitor eBay. I'd also advise Bricklink. Now, those are some higher prices, but not very many people use it. So, look around there. You can find some good deals. So, let's flip the page here. A bunch more questions. Uh, next question is the Let's Play going to continue. No. Next question. What game do I keep referring to when I talk about a game? Like in 2001, I mentioned like the game and the, with the Toa and whatnot. And in 2002, I mentioned the game with the Borak. Well, when I'm talking about the game, I mean, like, they advertise this function, the feature, 
with the 2001 Toa versus the Rahi and the Borak versus whatever, where it was just the functions. You turn the gear on the Toa, they'd swing their arm up and down, fight each other. And it was, you know, it was a game. It was the old version of the Glatorian kind of point system game that we got in 2009. So that's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Next question. What is my favorite year set-wise and story-wise? Well, as far as set-wise and story-wise, my overall favorite year would be 2001 for both accounts. But those are tied. Uh, set-wise with 2004, I really love the sets and I'm eager to review them. And story-wise with 2008, I loved the return of many characters and the reveal, the revelation was fantastic. I enjoyed 2008. Next question... What, when was Holly McTorn released? Now, I don't know if you can notice, but I'm not even ready to review her yet, but, you know, I'll get there. It's, it's just a cleaning job. Anyway, what year was Holly McTorn released? Well, that's the thing. She was never released as a McTorn. You might see some CGI artwork of her somewhere, but you'll see that with a lot of other McTorn that were not released as sets either. So, she only appeared in 2002 first as a McTorn. And then she became a set the next year. So, yeah, she's never released as McTorn. So do not ask if I missed her or any of the other characters from the Chroniclers Company in the McTorn review. I will make those as mocks and run them over. Next question. How do I feel about the collecting decline in 2003 and 2004? When I first uh, read this question, I wasn't exactly sure what they were talking about when they asked. And then I, I looked back and I realized, oh, hey, there was a, a decline in collectability through 03 and 04. Not so much 03. 03 had a lot going for it. You know, it, it had the new masks. It had the more Nuva masks. It had the Chrono Call, which are a ton more colors, and even in sterling silver and whatnot. And then it had the Krata. And so I'd say there was actually a lot more collectability in 2003. Not so much in 2004. That was just the new Metro masks, maybe the six recolors for the Noble masks, and then just the Kanoka. So, I, I can see the decline in, you know, it's just a sign of the times. It showed that they didn't have as much money to pour into collectibles, which is unfortunate, but, you know, we still got some almost every year, which was very nice. Next question. Am I a Hydra, and how many heads do I have? Well, I am not a Hydra. However, I have three heads. So I can talk to me, myself, and I. Next question. Anything related to Biocraft and Alina? I'm just not going to address this. Next question. Will I be reviewing the books and or the movies? No. I will not be reviewing either. This is for sets. I don't have the time to do that. And I don't... I... It just, nah, that would just crowd things a little bit too much, and it would mean that the recap reviews would come out much later. Next question, how do I feel about cookies? <sighs> cookies are great. Next question, how do I feel about talking to Greg Farshti? That was amazing. Listen to that interview. Greg Farshti is an awesome guy. He was fantastic to talk to. Uh, next question... Which do I prefer, the Toa Mata from 01, the Toa Nuva from 08, or 2002? Definitely prefer the Mata, no contest. I like the 2002 upgrades, they're nice, but Mata will always win out. And uh, next and final question, do I think that hitting an assailant with a small moon can still be considered self-defense? Yes, I do. And so does Matt Nui. So anyway, that is actually all the questions. Thank you very much for watching the video and watching all the other recap reviews or some of the recap reviews and asking those questions. I appreciate it greatly. I read everything. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to reply to as many now due to the YouTube comment changes. So this is pretty much going to be the only way I can reply every once in a while. So, when are the recap reviews coming back? Well, they are coming back. i got to look at my calendar. Next week. The recap reviews are coming back November 19th. I'll be starting off with the Borak Kal. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next week. Take care, guys.